The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a Valentine's Day appearance high above Metro Vancouver as the countdown for the Invictus Games kicks off. The story from our new BC Bureau Chief, Andrew Johnson. A prince getting a few pointers from the pros. After he quipped, what could possibly go wrong? Harry's first run down the hill on adaptive skis earns the applause of Invictus Games competitors and his wife. The Duke of Sussex isn't the only one at Whistler today trying this for the first time. He's joined by wounded warriors from about 20 countries learning winter adaptive sports on the spot. One of the things that's great about Invictus is that we don't choose our athletes necessarily by whether or not they'll win gold, but how much they'll benefit from the therapy. People like Rosa Sanchez Bermudez from Colombia, who was paralyzed by a gunshot wound serving her country. I don't feel my legs, but here, just having the arms, I feel that I can walk again. Harry and Megan are here to promote the Games coming to BC in 2025, the first in Canada since Toronto hosted in 2017, and the first to involve winter pursuits like skiing, skeleton, and wheelchair curling. Megan and Harry bring a certain celebrity to this. I'd want to say that these games wouldn't exist and they wouldn't be as successful as they are. But this smiling appearance comes days after the prince rushed back to London from California to visit his father, following the king's cancer diagnosis. And the couple is now facing new scrutiny this week after their launch of a new website and Megan landing a podcast deal. Up here on the mountain today, those issues are taking a back seat to learning and rediscovering what's been lost. I'm feeling that I'm like in another world and right now I'm feeling that I'm flying. Harry and Megan are back at Whistler Blackcomb tomorrow before an Invictus event Friday in Vancouver at a curling rink. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Whistler, B.C.